A Dene filmmaker from the Northwest Territories is now speaking out about the treatment he received at the Cannes Film Festival. Kelvin Redvers was turned away from the red carpet for wearing traditional moccasins. Redvers traveled there as part of a delegation of six Indigenous filmmakers from Canada and he met with festival organizers after the incident, along with members of the Indigenous Screen Office and Telefilm. The organizers apologized and invited Revers to wear his moccasins to a red carpet screening of Canadian director David Cronenberg's new film, Crimes of the Future. Well, to tell us more about what happened, we are reaching out right now to Calvin Redvers. He joins us in Vancouver. Calvin, thanks for being on the program today. Thanks for having me. Now, this is, you know, one of those stories I think that shocks many people to hear it. But, but tell us a bit more, because here you are. You decide to wear moccasins to the red carpet at Cannes. You get there. And what happens? Well, I'd been excited for weeks since I found out that we were going to be able to go to the festival with this group of Indigenous filmmakers. Um, and I'm Dene. I'm from the North. I grew up, you know, around my culture, on the land, and moccasins are a big deal. And so I understand that there's, like, certain rules that they have about uh, how to look on the red carpet. And so I felt if I wore a suit, a bow tie, but had one piece that sort of expressed my indigeneity, that it would be okay. And I was excited for like quite a while to be able to wear these. My sister had made these moccasins for me. In a lot of cultures around Canada, moccasins are very well understood as being, you know, traditional wear and formal wear. But the security folks at the Cannes Film Festival who, you know, uh, gatekeep for the red carpets, I guess had never seen these before and very much disagreed that this was formal attire. Now, we're, we're looking at photos of you right now at Cannes. You, you look great. You, here you are wearing the black tux, as you say. You're wearing moccasins as well. And, and my understanding is you have the moccasins with you right now. Uh, would you mind holding them up for, for people to see at home to, to get a closer look? And talk to us about how security responded when you try to explain the significance of the moccasins. Yeah, so to get to the red carpet at Cannes, there's, there's several kind of gates, basically, as security checkpoints. And I had gone through the first one, and these were in a bag, so I wasn't wearing them. But once I got through the first one, I took them out and I put them on before getting to the red carpet section. And pretty quickly, I got flagged. And they're like, nope, nope, you can't wear those. Um, I was trying to explain to them, because my, you know, on the red carpet, you're supposed to wear a tuxedo or a dress. However, there's an understanding that for nationally recognized formal wear, um, that that kind of stuff is allowed. So for example, a Scottish kilt is allowed on the red carpet or something like an Indian sari, because they're kind of understood as being formal wear. And so to a Dene person, this is the same thing. And I tried to explain that to the folks, but um, they had trouble understanding or they just wouldn't listen. And so I got brought back to the checkpoint where some of my cohort was, um, they got into an argument with the um, folks who uh, are letting people in. And eventually there was a security guard that hit his breaking point and he got quite furious with me and essentially um, ordered me off. Um, kind of like I was a trespasser who was, you know, had stolen something. He was just out, out, out. And it kind of hurt. Yeah. Because I wasn't doing anything necessary, like to my eyes, that was. You know, I wasn't being a criminal. I was simply trying to express my culture um, on the red carpet. Let me pick up on that point then, too, because y y y you say it hurts, but here you have this beautiful moxin made by your sister, the beadwork you can clearly see, lovingly done. Uh, this is an award show, uh, or other award shows have made allowances for things, as you point out, the uh, Scottish kilt, Indi Indian sari. So talk to us a, b a bit more about how you felt. You say you were hurt. But insulted, angered, what was going through your mind as this was all happening? It's kind of hard to process things like that. Like, it was a deep, I don't, it stung. I was, I was almost, I, uh, even now when I think about it, it kind of gets me a little um, upset. I was disappointed. I was angry. I was, um, yeah, I was let down, I guess. And the folks, the cohort that I was with, were able to get furious for me. I didn't get angry or anything because I just, you know, was processing and I um, eventually obliged. And so I took off the moccasins and I went and I, I switched to, you know, the westernized, whatever, the dress shoe or whatever, and I went to the fest. But thankfully, because my crew was so upset that this had happened, they brought it up with the, the, the brass at Cannes. And actually the next day, the secretary general 
of the Cannes Film Festival met with myself and a representative from the Indigenous Green Office. Um, and one of the heads of Cannes apologized to me for this happening. Um, and they tried to understand what what it is that, that, that this is. And I think that it's still a process. They didn't quite see this in the same category as something like a kilt or a sari. Mm-hmm. But our hope is that going into the future, they open the door so that folks from the Indigenous Green Office and um, folks from Telefilm will be able to open a conversation so that we can sort of educate them to help see that, you know, their sense of what is traditional um, isn't always going to fit with what an Indigenous person's sense of what is formal. And, and yeah. And, you know, what's even ironic about this is here you were, as we said, part of an, an, an Indigenous delegation that goes to Cannes to raise awareness about Indigenous producers, and this happens. Yeah, it ended up happening, maybe not in the way I would have preferred having to go through this, but um, they did meet with us, and so we have to give Cannes credit, and they are willing to have an ongoing conversation with the Indigenous Green Office. And so the next day, we'd had this meeting with the Cannes Brass, and they apologized, and they asked, what would you like to do? I said, I would like to walk the red carpet with my moccasins. And so they said yes. So the next night, or that night, they got me an extra ticket. And so myself and Ryan Cooper, who's one of the other delegates who you can see in some of the photos, we strolled up to the same security checkpoint. And the first person who we met said, nope, nope, <laughs> can't wear those. But the second, um, who understood the situation, gave us the, yes, let them in. Calvin. And so myself and Ryan got to walk the red carpet in the moccasins. And hopefully more will get to do so. Absolutely. Uh, Calvin Redvers, thank you so much for sharing your story. Thanks.